welcome to another video today is bright and early and it's actually my first day of residency orientation so hold on i need a sip <sighs> coffee coffee just hit so good morning today is day one of my two-week orientation for residency so i'm going to take you guys my week with me so today is our first day we have to dress business casual that's why i'm wearing these black pants and this top. So today is our meeting with HR, um, which is like human resources. So we're gonna do a lot of like policies. And then this week, we're also just gonna be focusing on like getting accustomed to the hospital and like to the different areas and then to the charting system. So like really just getting our feet wet before we jump in head first. I'm very excited to take you guys with me see how it goes we'll see how long my commute's gonna take me i don't know anything i'm i'm new to everything i did meal prep thankfully so i have breakfast and lunch to take with me i recorded a meal prep breakfast video for you guys and i will put that in the description box below also um my name is nairi i am a resident doctor in la and today is my first day of residency orientation so i'm gonna take you guys with me and cheers let's let's go do it just got to the hospital just parked i just wanted to say hi i'm gonna go in. okay i am home day one of orientation is complete let me settle you down somewhere nice um yeah i don't know you guys today was mostly i don't know if how bad this lighting is but today was mostly like hr so it was a lot of like um talking about different policies like hospital policies and like non-discrimination and what to do like how to report stuff if you see things happen um or if things happen to you um it was basically all day just hr stuff i still have so many questions about my schedule and things that i need to figure out but i also got my white coats so i don't know if you guys know but medical students so when you're in medical school you get a white coat but it's short so it's like more to more to like your hips but doctors have long white coats so i got my long white coat because next week we actually have a white coat ceremony which i think is just like a fancy way for them to welcome us and take pictures and you know do cute stuff but i got my white coat i also got keys to like our office and the behavioral health unit um yeah met some of our residents so we actually have one year of residents above us so they're like gonna be our mentors and really help us out and show us the ropes and stuff like that. So I got to meet them. I've met them before, but like we hung out, had lunch together and now I'm home. I have a lot of errands to run and I think I'm gonna rejoin back to a gym that I used to go to. I stopped my membership when we were gonna go for our wedding and our honeymoon just cause I wasn't gonna be here. And then I, when I came back, I didn't know what my schedule was gonna be. And now I feel like, especially these two weeks I'm gonna have time to go to the gym um and then once i do start my rotation i actually start on primary care and i would probably be working a lot more but i'm anticipating that i might even have the opportunity to do like 6 a.m classes before work and that would be great because then i could get my workout in and then go to work and come home and chill so even if i like i don't know i don't want to spend these two weeks not getting the movement that i want to because it's like very therapeutic for me to go to the gym and especially a gym that i really like and enjoy it just makes me feel great so i think i'm gonna do that yeah i think we're gonna do that so that's the plan for right now good morning you guys um happy day two of orientation it is bright and early i just wanted to say hi to you guys and tell you we're getting day two started um i really desperately need business casual clothes i've been just wearing things that i can consider business casual or that are literally from high school or med school but my med school stuff were from high school so everything is just really old um yeah but i keep convincing myself i don't need cute like new business casual clothes because i'm gonna end up wearing scrubs and i still don't know if i can wear scrubs if I can, what color? Can I just wear any scrubs that I have already? So we are just like really winging it with the wardrobes. I wore these black jeans that look like black pants because I literally need new black pants. Um, 
And then I wore this like sweater top that is, I don't know where it's from actually. I think it's from Brandy Melville. Um, but like, and like they don't care, but I just, I want to look cute, you know, like just put a little effort in. You're working at a hospital. So like if you, if you look nicer, you feel a little nicer working with like, you know, not the happiest environment. Um, so anyways, that's my little spiel of the day. I'm like, Nairi, you need new clothes every day. I'm like, Nairi, you need, you need new clothes. But like, who's got the money for a full new wardrobe? So anyways, that's my dilemma for this morning, clearly. But we are going to get ready and head out for day two. Today um, is more of graduate, the medical education. So like my program essentially is going to be doing most of the talks. So I don't really know what to expect or how long I'll be there. I'm hoping that I can also get a workout in and I have some errands that I need to run. So I'm hoping I could also do that. But anyways, hi, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are or just a day. We're going to go and get this, this day started. Hi, <laughs> we had a very long lunch break. So I decided to go to UPS and do like an errand. And then now I still have like an hour and a half. I, that's like way too long for lunch. Like 20 minutes maximum is a great lunch break. I'd rather get moving, finish and go home. But yeah, I'm gonna eat, do other computer work stuff. And that's about it today. We, so far I've just really talked about like the graduate medical education system and like the program that they have here and like getting accredited and then talks about burnout and like taking care of ourselves in general so that's the update okay, we worked out and i made dinner so i'm actually also this week recording a um healthy dinners to eat in a week video so i will also be posting that but it was really good i made a shrimp pasta like a spaghetti with shrimp um I decided tomorrow I'm gonna take a 6 a.m. class. You guys, I need to tell you because I need to keep myself accountable. After work tomorrow, we're gonna go to my parents for dinner and I wanna make sure I get a workout in. So I think I'm gonna just work out before I go to work. I have to be at work by eight. So I'm thinking if I leave by, if I go to the gym at six, leave by 6.50, be home by seven, shower and leave by 7.30, I should be able to make it to work on time. So that's kind of my plan um but yeah i'm very excited i'm like excited and nervous i feel scared <laughs> i think i just feel really scared i got my schedule and it's very overwhelming but um i'm trying to re remind myself to not make it bigger than it is in my mind and just take it one day at a time and take it one thing and step at a time instead of like what's it called like catastrophizing in my mind which i i know a lot of a lot of us do that but i tend to do that so that's that i'm gonna put the stuff away and shower and i gotta sleep early today because i'm gonna wake up tomorrow early 5 30 for the gym good morning happy wednesday you might be happy to learn that it is currently 5 47 a.m meaning i woke up at 5 30 meaning we are headed to our 6 a.m class um i'm not gonna lie i uh, i know that every time i do this and it's new like it's like the first or second day that i i'm waking up this early i feel amazing i'm like oh my gosh why don't i always do this this is so nice i love it and then and then your body gets exhausted from doing it more than once and it turns into a nightmare so right now we're doing great i love waking up early and i like i'm barely awake right now but i love waking up early before people and before all of my other to-do lists because you just feel so accomplished when you get a workout in already early it's the best feeling but i also love sleeping so you know just a little dilemma going on but right now we're gonna go we're gonna have a good workout Ooh. we're gonna come home shower go to work see you on the other side well hello um i showered got ready and now we are at work and look at me i'm actually 
15, 17 minutes early, which is wonderful. I had a really good workout. The energy was on point. Everyone else was very motivated. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I could see myself doing this, but I'll talk to you like at three, four o'clock to tell you how exhausted I actually am. And I'm actually starving right now and it's 7.45 and I normally don't eat breakfast till like nine. So this is, this is really gonna make me hungry really early. Uh, I mean, earlier than usual, you know? I am gonna have overnight oats before I go in actually because I'm actually very hungry. I did meal prep this and I did record a video for you guys. If it's already out before this video comes out, I will definitely link it down below. But I did a healthy, uh, three healthy meal prep, breakfast meal prep uh, recipes. So I think it's gonna be out before this video comes out. So I'll definitely post it or put it in the description box below. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and go to work. Hi friends, it is three o'clock. I just got off of work for the day. Remember, in this morning, I told you guys, talk to me around 2.33, something like that. This is the time where I'm, it's like the, the midday schlump, especially because I woke up so early today to get my workout in. Um, I have to say my eyes are closing a little bit, so I think I need a snack or a beverage to keep me excited and awake. But the good thing is I'm not working anymore, so I'm done for the day. I currently have errands to run, so I need to take a passport picture to update my passport with my new married name. I need to pick up, hopefully, hopefully, I'm really hoping I um, had disposable cameras at my wedding for guests to take pictures of themselves and of everything. Um, I really just wanted like fun in the moment photos. I took them to CVS to get developed, so I'm gonna go and see if it's ready they like don't call you when it's ready so you just have to like show up and be like hey are my photos developed so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm hoping they're developed because i had a good amount i think i had like five or six cameras to develop and if they are developed i'm hoping that there is like at least some decent photos because you know there's it's like a hit and miss with those so that's what i need to do and then i'm gonna go home tonight but we're going to dinner at my parents' house, so um, I also need to work on a brand deal that I worked on. They just uh, got back to me with some minor edits, so I'm going to do that and resubmit it. And then, I don't know what else I have to do today. We'll see. That Those are like the major things that I definitely want to cross off my list before dinner. So that's the update. I'll let you guys know if I have um, the photos from CVS or not you guys good news um they are developed and i have some really cute photos most of them look like this which i'm not surprised meaning you can see nothing but there are some let me see there are some that are really clear they're oh god it's what i really like now is that they also not only do they just print the photos but they give you a disc of it as well um so like i have a cd of them and i actually have like a adapter on uh, for my laptop so that i can put cds because new laptops nowadays don't have like cd place so my plan is also to put them on my computer and see if i can edit the the light oh god oh my gosh they all turned out like this you guys <laughs> i knew it was i knew it was risky 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 business i don't know if there's like any good ones of us this is like the only clearest one um what the heck yeah i don't i have like no good pictures from it but i mean i expected this it was fun for the guests to like be snapping and stuff so anyways that's the update i had my pictures they're all terrible maybe i can edit them on my laptop we'll everyone happy friday i don't know why we keep meeting in the car but it's just so easy for me to put my phone on the stand and just like talk while i'm driving um today's friday like i mentioned yesterday was thursday and i didn't film at all i actually was feeling very very sick um i think just like waking up so early on wednesday to do the workout and then have a long day of work after and then sleep late and like just being stressed and like kind of nervous about residency and all of that like me personally like when i get very stressed and anxious um 
it manifests as like physical symptoms so I get like very very significant abdominal pain like 9 out of 10 abdominal pain so I was literally on when I went home from work yesterday I started to get really bad I don't know why um, I was just like on the couch literally from like 4 p.m. till I slept because my stomach was hurting so bad like so bad so I didn't film anything but like really nothing crazy really happened I went to work oh my gosh, hold on. I went to work and then I was planning on I went to work and I was planning on going to the gym but like I mentioned I I was I was in so much pain um, thankfully I feel better today so far and this is just a reminder because this happened to me all to me all throughout medical school i was always everything i ate i would have stomach pain and it was because of my stress and like ang like anxiousness um and i had i had just been feeling so good i guess like towards the end of fourth year and after graduating and like going on our honeymoon vacation you're like oh, why would i why would i get stomach pain on vacation you know like i'm feeling happy and not stressed and so like i forgot that this like this is how i am and it just made me realize that i need to be very 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 intentional with managing my stress very well because sometimes it even happens when i'm like subconsciously stressed like if you ask me if you asked me yesterday like are you stressed i would have said no because like I didn't even start seeing patients yet and like you know i i didn't even jump head in first yet like i'm still in orientation like why am i feeling this way is kind of what i'm thinking but like you know the brain's like you know like like we all know the brain is a wild wild thing and sometimes you just don't understand the way it works but i need to be very cognizant with my stress management so anyways that that's our update i just finished today today's friday i actually got off early today it's like one o'clock which is wonderful um i'm going to go to the grocery store actually today for like next week just because I kind of have a busy weekend going on and i want to make sure we have our groceries in um i really really want to stock up on like really healthy and nutritious foods so that that's like one factor in my de-stressing and like stress management that i i could check off like you know stocked up on healthy food that is going to make me feel good physically and mentally and emotionally so i really want to do that um yeah that's about it that's the update um manage your stress don't forget to take care of yourself i guess is uh, the reminder for today um yeah i will check back in with you guys this is the end of my week because this is actually saturday so i forgot to close off this video um thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed seeing like what a week in my life is like it's gonna change drastically once i actually start working in residency meaning like start having my patients and like doing patient care since this was just like a week of orientation next week is my second week of orientation and then that saturday i actually start like actual residency residency so stay tuned we'll see how it goes this is actually saturday and i am vlogging a weekend in my life so after this video you will see my weekend it is actually my last weekend where i have saturday and sunday off um anyways we're gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe follow me on socials do all the things don't forget to take care of yourself you matter just as you are and i will see you again in another video